Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. It's yarn swatch time and this episode is all about the Yarn Bee Scrubology Cotton Yarn. Now I made a trip to Hobby Lobby a while back and I showed this yarn and then I got a happy mail from Charlene Dryman down in Texas City, Texas who sent me some additional colors so I really had fun crocheting these up into samples and I made my samples just big enough for a small dishcloth for doing my dishes so all the samples will not go to waste today because I will use them to do my dishes so let's jump right in and let's take a look at this scrubology cotton and how it works up now this is the yarn B and this is scrubology cotton this is sold at Hobby Lobby and it's four dollars and forty nine cents a scale now my suggestion is wait until they have the yarn sale week I believe it's every other week where you save 30% off your yarn purchase that's the best way to get the most savings for your money when you buy this yarn now this is a three ounce 85 grams 125 yards 115 meters it's a hundred percent cotton it's a four medium weight yarn and this yarn is machine wash and dryable. Now, my experience with this yarn, this is the first time I crocheted with it. They are recommending a size K 10 and a half or 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, I found that that crochet hook was too large for what I was making. So you may just have to play around with your hook size until you get the right hook for what you're making. So I dropped my hook size down to a 10J for my samples here today, and you can see how that worked up. Now the colorways I'm showing you today, all the information on the label is the same. So let's start with the first color. This is color number 107, Signs of Spring. And I just fell in love how this worked up. It just had beautiful colors. It's a multi-color that just blended all over and just had a really nice look to it. Now all the samples I'm showing you today, I use the same Stitch of the Week pattern. I use Stitch of the Week number 27. It's called the Snuggle Stitch or the Alternating Single Crochet V Stitch. It's a very pretty stitch, but as you can see with this yarn, it's very hard to see any stitch definition when you're using a yarn like this. Now, when I first started crocheting with this yarn, I had a little bit of trouble. I just wasn't used to this type of yarn. And you really have to pay attention to where your stitches are. And if you make a mistake, it's terrible to try to rip out. And when you go to rip it out, it's best to use two hands. You're going to have to just try to slowly pull it. And then when it gets caught, just use the other hand and just slowly work with it. If you grab it and pull too tight, you're probably going to break your yarn. Very hard to rip out, but this yarn, I was telling everybody before, I bought a scrubby at a craft show, and I really liked the way it felt and when I did the dishes. And that's why I went and purchased the yarn, because I wanted to try it and see if I liked how it worked up. So again, that is my sample and this was made using color number 107, Signs of Spring. The next color I have to show you is color number 116, Hello Honeybee. You can see all those beautiful colors with the golden yellow, that lighter brownish yellow, a little bit of gray and white. Now this one had longer color bursts compared to the first sample. The first sample had very short color bursts. If you go to the store and you want to purchase this, pay attention to how long the color bursts are. Shorter color bursts, you're going to get an all over effect. And then the long color bursts, you're going to get a self striping look. So when you look at the yarn, you're going to see all these color ways do come out in a stripe pattern with this yarn. And there is some green in there. It's 
that's down here deep, but you're going to see that green. So again, when you look at the stitch pattern, it's the same stitch pattern. It's that snuggle stitch. You're not really seeing a really good definition of those stitches. The yarn is fuzzy and it just doesn't show the stitches very well. When you're using this yarn, you're just going to have to play around with the stitches and see which one you like best. Now for a washcloth or a dishcloth, I think this is the perfect pattern. It's just a wonderful, nice pattern. You can see how it works up. That's about the thickness when you're crocheting. And if you knit, then you'll probably get a totally different look from this yarn than the crocheted samples. So again, that was my second sample, and that was Hello Honeybee, color number 116. The next colorway is this bright rainbow colors, and this is color number 110 Rainbow Bridge. Now this is another one that has the short color bursts, but it all depends on where you start in the skein. Now where I started, I seem to be getting the same colorways on the left and right, and then these colors are staying in the center. So I did not like when it did that. I like my colors like all over the place and not in columns but again it all depends on your stitch pattern what stitch you're using how those colorways are going to turn out and you could get a totally different look for your sample or whatever you're making just depending on the stitch pattern you use again this is the same stitch the snuggle stitch and this sample was made using color number 110 rainbow bridges the next colorway is Summer Song. This is color number 104. You're going to see beautiful different shades of blue, and it's like a peachy pink. So when you look at the sample, you're going to notice that this yarn has the longer colorways. And then when I worked up my sample, this again is the snuggle stitch and I made all my samples 26 chains wide. And then it's just about the perfect size for a small dishcloth. And then I just worked it until it was a square. So you can see how the longer colorways create those stripes. And again, that was color number 104, Summer Song. So the next colorway is Fruit Salad. This is color number 112. And this is one of the colorways that Charlene sent me. And I really fell in love with this one. I don't believe I seen this at Hobby Lobby when I was there. But I'm going to go back and try to find this because I really like this one with the bright white and all those rainbow colored dots. And look how pretty this works up. Isn't that pretty? You're going to see how the color placement is evenly spaced all over the place. It's not like pink over here and yellow over here or blue in the center. It just has that all over look that I just thought was really, really pretty. So again, that was color number 112, Fruit Salad. So the next colorway is Front Porch. This is color number 109. You're going to see it's almost like a greenish yellow mixed with different shades of blue, a darker blue, a lighter baby blue, almost like a grayish blue right here mixed with a white. And then this has the longer colorway, so it's going to work up into a stripe pattern. So this is what that colorway looks like. And some of these colorways I like, some of them not so much, but that is what's so fun about these swatch videos, that it really helps you decide what yarns you may like, especially if you're making a washcloth. You're probably going to get pretty close to what these samples look like if you're crocheting. So again, this sample was color number 109, front porch. The next colorway is El Fresco. This is color 101. So what I liked about this colorway 
was they had so many different shades of green. Now I know this darker green pops out a little, but it's still very, very pretty because it's all green shades. They don't come in with a totally different colorway and put it in the center of these beautiful shades of green. It's all shades of green. And I think that's why this was one of my favorites. It's El Fresco and it's color number 101. And look how pretty this works up. Isn't that pretty? You can see those subtle changes of those green tones, and then you get a pop of that darker color. I just thought that was pretty. The next colorway is Aria, A-R-I-A. -I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. This is color number 102. And what surprised me about this colorway was the way it worked up. It almost worked perfectly into perfect stripes. It had a beautiful look to it. So here is my sample. I just thought that this was really pretty. It seemed like the colors blended better than some of the other ones. Now remember, this is just my opinion. You may have a different opinion, but I just liked the way the colors blended. It just had a very beautiful look to it. I love the color combinations with that bright pink. You get a little bit of a purplish pink. You're getting that dark blue mixed with the green. It's just colors like if you were making an afghan and you're saying, boy, I wonder what colors would look good together. I thought these colors were perfect together. Just amazing colorways that I wouldn't normally put together, but look really nice when they are mixed in this colorway. And again, this was area and this was color 102. So before I end the video, I want to show you the dishcloth scrubby pattern that I'm working on. I was playing around trying to see what looked best. I tried it with a reversible one. I didn't like it. And then I made one with popcorn stitches forming a little bit of extra texture. If you're scrubbing those pots and pans and you just want a little bit more texture in there to help scrub. And then I kept the back flat to make it easy to handle. Now, I tried to make this making it reversible, but it made it way too thick and it was very hard to use. So it's better to make the textured part on the front, leave the back flat. Now, this is going to be made in two pieces and then you just crochet the two pieces together, no sewing. Now, I didn't weave in my end yet because I'm still playing around with this pattern, but this is the video that I'm going to be bringing to you of how to make the floral scrubby out of this yarn. But I wanted to show you which yarns I used for rich scrubby. So I'm going to start with this one. Now this one I used all one color and I used the Hello Honeybee. So this gives you another idea of what some of these yarns are going to look like if you decide to make scrubbies out of them because you're working in the round. So the Hello Honeybee is going to look like this. Now I don't think this colorway does the scrubby justice. I think that you should pick a secondary color like this to really make that scrubby pop. So you can see it kind of loses its definition of the flower and the center and the edging. So you can see a big difference when you change the center and do it a different color. Now I didn't have a lot of solid colors because I bought all multi-colors. So thanks to Charlene, she sent me this beautiful green and she sent me this solid blue. So I was able to play around with a couple making them in the two different colors. So this is what the Hello Honey Bee will look like if you use all one color. And then this is what it looks like on the back because then I was getting into some of that green. So it's up to you whether you like one color or if you prefer using the two colors to really make that flower stand out. Now this scrubby I didn't think look too bad all in one color because of the green tones blending so well together. That is the front. And again, if you bought white, it might be really pretty putting solid white in the center and then white out here. I just didn't have any, so I made it all in one color. And this one, again, was made using the Al Fresco color number 101. This scrubby was made using the royal blue color number six for my center and my edging. And I should have used 
this multicolor on the outside. I think that would have been prettier. I was watching TV, not paying attention. And sometimes, you know, when you get going crocheting, you just keep on going and not even thinking. I just put the border on and did not change colors. So if you look at the two different samples, you're going to see that you can make it in a solid color, but it looks so much prettier when you bring that multicolor out to the edging. So again, this sample was made using the royal blue number six and the beautiful area color number 102. And then this last sample of my scrubby I made using color number four green and that beautiful multicolor rainbow bridge color number 110. So that is what the scrubbies would look like using those two colors. So those are all the colorways that I showed you today, along with those little crocheted flower scrubbies that I'm working on. And I'll be bringing that video to you as soon as I can. So thank you everybody for stopping by today. If you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here at Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, happy crocheting everyone.